Margo. Yes. There's a new anti-epileptic medication out there. Is there another one? <laughs> yes, another it's one. The like list just keeps on growing and growing and growing. I mean, I'm happy with I it, but it you're just... Gonna, you're, not, you're not complaining, are you? No, not at all. Not at all. Who knows? I might need another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You know, but, but basically, okay, it, this, is, this is a good thing. Uh, Trochenda. Trochendi. Trochendi, you're right, it's an I at the end, isn't there? Yes. XR, Trochendi XR. Uh, it's a uh, epilepsy drug that has just been uh, 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 approved by the FDA for people who have partial seizures and also have generalized tonic-conic seizures. Now, now, Tom, before you get into that, I always want to make sure when we talk about the type of seizures that people understand, so with the partial onset of seizures, where does that usually happen in the brain? Okay, basically, partial seizures can happen at any spot in the brain. Okay. Okay? Most partial seizures are, uh, most people, if they have partial seizures, will have partial seizures that involve either one of the temporal lobes mm -hmm. or the frontal lobes. Okay. Those, are, those, are the, those are the popular spots <laughs> for seizures to hang out. <laughs> okay. Where are you hanging today? Over at the Lowe's? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, uh, and basically what that means is that the, the, that release of electrical energy that is the seizure, mm -hmm. okay, is confined to one specific area. The specific area that it's confined to will determine what takes place during that event mm -hmm. and what the person will experience. Mm -hmm or not experienced during that. See, and I think that that's important because even just like I said, like there's another medicine coming out, but there are medicines that are coming out, but for different types of seizures. Exactly. You know, exactly. and so you may have a, a new medicine for a partial seizure or something, or partial complex or however, it, you know, where that may, or it may be for a generalized. So mm -hmm. to understand the difference, I think is also important to know maybe what another option can be for you. So I think that that's a good part to know about this onset. So, yeah, and, and also for, for uh, primary generalized tonic chronic seizure, that's a falling down, shaking all over type of seizure that swamps the entire brain from, from its onset, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but this medication is actually, this is a medication that's, that is a extended release medication, mm -hmm. okay? And it's, it's, it's an extended release oral formulation of the drug uh, topiramate or Topomax. Okay. Okay, so that's the, that's the twist to this particular medication, is that it's an existing medication, but it's extended release. So instead of having to take it maybe two or three times a day, you might have to just take it once. Well, that's nice. So, which is good. Now, yeah. I wonder, will that, will that make it easier or bring down the cost of medicine not to have, not to take it as much, you know what I mean? Like if you have, you know, more pills. So now that you're not having, now that you're not having to take as many pills, I wonder, does that help financially too, you know? I don't know if that it would does. Be, that would be wonderful if that were the case. It okay. probably isn't. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> That's what you're telling me. <laughs> okay. We're, we live in a profit motivated society here, lady. This is true. I'm sorry. <laughs> here it is. I thought it was all about help. But that's great. <laughs> no, no. We're all about that. <laughs> but other people aren't. So, but that's a that's a new thing that's happening, you know, and and it's it's another way for for people to maybe eliminate some side effects, things such as that. So, and that's good another thing. good thing about the Epilepsy Foundation too. We really try to keep you abreast about the new medicines and about those things. So, feel free. I, you know, is all of this information is, is some of this information provided on the website? Not this, because this this is. Uh, this was released on August 28th. Oh, wow. So, so this is the new. ink of this stuff is still a little bit wet. Okay. So this is brand new information. And look who, and we hold the knowledge. So knowledge is power, so come visit us, right? <laughs> come visit us at www.epilepsy-ohio.org. We got all the new information. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um, we want to be a great resource. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to tap within our community and just within our community, just in our 
city, our, just the whole place. We want to make sure that we've got this big riffle of information and people learning. So those are like epilepsy superheroes. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here trying to keep you up to date. <laughs> I've never thought of myself as that. <laughs> and I don't think I don't think many people who know me <laughs> have considered that that, that either. <laughs> okay, maybe we should move along. <laughs>